Hi guys, it's Ryan from Beginners Tech here and today I am going to show you Samsung Easy Mode. A lot of people that are coming into the smartphone world will find their experience quite daunting. So thankfully Samsung have took this on board and developed a mode that's going to make your life a lot easier till you get used to your new handset. So I'll show you how to access it. If you press the menu soft key here and click on settings as you can see in settings we have home screen mode if we click on it up top here you see easy mode just click on it and click apply so the first time you access it there will be widgets placed for you but I'm going to show you probably the best way to set it up for yourself you don't have to do exactly what I've done but it will give you a good example of how you can place widgets and other items on this home screen here. So to delete the widgets that's already there, all you have to do is hold them in and drag them up to the trash can up top till they're highlighted red and let go. So that's the widget away. So to add widgets you just long press on the home screen, click apps and widgets from the menu that's appeared and up top you will see widgets. Just give it a click and you can add your widgets. So let's add the, screen, the clock that was already there. So you just hold it in and let it go. Easy as that. So other things you're going to want on here are obviously people's phone numbers. So a nice widget that Samsung's developed for you to do that is easy contact widget, favourite contact widget, sorry. You see it here? If you just hold it in and let it go. So this widget here is going to allow you to add nine of your favourite contacts straight to your home screen so you don't have to footer about in menus to try and call people. So to add a contact, all you have to do is click plus contact and click the contact you wish to add. Obviously all mines are fake contacts. So that's my contacts added. So if you want to phone anybody from this, you would just click and you're given the option to phone, video call or message. Nice and easy. If you want to access more of the contacts information, maybe you had to put an email address in for them, just click the picture and you get full details here. Nice and easy. So the other thing you're going to want to do with your new smartphone is maybe start using some apps and if you have favourite apps, there's another widget that we can use. So just go back into widgets again and just above favourite contacts you have favourite apps widget. So again just hold it in and let it go, nice and easy. So there's already pre-planned or pre-placed sorry, widgets on this app. If you don't like what you've been given, all you have to do is click edit here and you'll see lots of circles with me minus signs pop up. If you just click the minus signs, they'll all go away, just click done. Okay, so now you're going to want to add your apps, nice and easy, click add app and you get a big list of apps. All you have to do is click on them and they will appear in your favourite apps. Okay, so there's lots of widgets you can experiment with in easy mode that are going to make your life nice and easy um, and you can also have widgets that make your phone maybe a little bit more personal. I'll show you one for example would be the picture widget that's included. Picture frame widget you can put on here and you can select where you want your images to come from. Images from albums or whatever. So you just click on it and you obviously I've only got one photograph, you would click done. So you could pick a selection of photographs here and it would alternate through them all for you. And there you go. And you can also stretch it out and your photographs would alternate here. So that's Samsung's easy mode. Um, I think you'll find it very helpful if you're new to smartphones and maybe you've picked up a Galaxy S3 and Galaxy Note. Note 2, 
or maybe you're waiting for the Galaxy S4. So I hope you enjoyed that. If you get any more questions, um, I'm happy to answer them. Just drop us a comment in the box below or you can email me uh, via our website beginnerstech.co.uk. Thank you for listening.